In this video, we're gonna be going over getting a scouting app created for FRC. And for this first part, we're just gonna focus on getting an input form created and getting a setup tab created for people to fill out before a match starts. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through creating a project here and I'll name it my uh, Teams uh, Scouting App. Once I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead into Input Forms and I'm gonna create a new input form and I'm gonna name it Scouting Input. All right, from here, let's go ahead and get the tabs actually set up. So let's start by getting a group on here and I'm gonna go ahead and make it the size of the screen and I'm gonna make it black as well. All right, cool. Now let's get the tab at the top put on there. Let's move this down a little bit and let's get group tab on here. Make sure you grab it at the bottom and you see the tab light up red so that way you know that the tab on the top is actually on the group. Change that to black as well and we'll call this tab setup. There we go. And we'll call it setup tab in the field configuration. Great, now we just need to make sure that our button down at button extra actions also pops up the group that it's in. And if we go to preview, you should see that this looks pretty good already. Now we need to start adding all the fields that someone's likely going to have in setup. So I'll start by grabbing a whole bunch of shapes here and we'll put in year so someone can fill out a year for the competition that they're at. Change the text to white. We're also going to want to fill out a state. You'll see why this comes in handy later. For now, just follow along. All right. Next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do competition. And finally, we're going to do a match number down here. I'm leaving a little space in here because I plan to do something here in a moment. Match number, fantastic. All right, so we have the labels. Let's go ahead and actually put the input for all of these in here. So year is obviously going to be a number. Make it a little bigger and we'll call this year on the field configuration. I'll grab the text input for state, put it right here, and this will be a state code. So let's call this state code and then for competition, we're going to use a dropdown. So let's go to choices, let's grab a dropdown right here and let's make it a little bit bigger. All right, very cool. We'll get to how we're gonna get the competition options in here later, but for now, just go to choices and put comp one, comp two, and this is a perfectly valid way to make it so that your team is only putting in competitions that you guys are going to, okay? And uh, we'll go ahead and choose no default on that as well. And then I'll go down to match number and I'll put in a number input, name it match. And now if I go to preview, we should see that all this stuff should be working just fine for us. Put in the Texas state code. I can even select competition one or competition two and I can put in my match number as well. Now I left this space in here for a reason. I'm actually going to connect this form to the first database of uh, events that are going on. And as we go through the rest of this input form, you're gonna find that I do that a lot. So let's start by going over to data sources on the side here. I'm gonna click add a new data source and I'm gonna click on FRC events. All right, so I clicked the little subscribe button there. I'm also gonna go ahead and subscribe to FRC schedule because we'll be using that later in this input form. All right, so let's go back to our input form and let's click on data sources at the top. Now, to get started with data sources, you always wanna consider what are we gonna be filling out from the first database? And in this case, what I want to fill out is the dropdown for competitions. So I'm gonna click on data sources, I'm gonna open my form fields and we're gonna see that I have field one. I haven't actually put in a name for the competitions yet, but we'll do that in a second. Okay, and now I'll go to FRC events 
and that should get filled out with event codes. So that way it's very clear what event I'm having someone pick. Now, the way that we have to get those events is by year. You'll notice there's a little required at the bottom here. It means that I have to give a year to get a list of event codes. So that's why I put the year on there earlier. However, there are so many events that go on during a year, that's why I put in the state code on our form. So that way I can grab event state as well and get a much smaller list of codes to look through. So now if I go to preview and I go ahead and enter in year 2023, and let's say I put in state Texas, so TX, and now I go to competition, you'll notice it's loaded up all of the competitions from Texas, and I can you know, choose one if I would like. Now to show off a little bit more of the data source and to make it more clear to people what they're actually selecting, let's go ahead and add in the name of the competition as well and make sure that shows up on the form just in case Texas CMP1 is not enough information for our user. So I'll put this here and I'm gonna go ahead and name this comp name. I should also go back and name this comp codes. All right, so now we'll go back to data sources and we'll make another rule. And again, we start with the thing that we're gonna end up filling out, which is comp name. So I'll throw that in here, and I know I'm gonna get it from the FRC events event name field. All right, now all I need to do is use the exact same stuff I did over here, but also grab the event code. So we're gonna grab event year, we're going to grab state, and we'll know that we actually selected a specific code as well. And we know that that came from our comp codes because we selected it. We have our state code as well, and our year just like we had above. Now when I go to preview and I go put in 2023 state Texas and I select competition, you'll notice it shows up with the full name right there. This also gives us the chance to, if we want, actually change the competition in here. Let's say we're off the internet and we can't actually put in uh, a competition uh, from the first database, then we can go ahead and just fill this out as well. All right. All right. That is the beginning of setting up a project and some of the more advanced stuff for doing input forms. In the next uh, episode of this series, we're going to start getting into doing autonomous, teleop, and endgame as well.